Hello, my name is Claudia Quayle Duggan and I am currently completing my bachelor's degree in environmental science with Griffith University. I'm about to commence my final year and I am very excited. I've been majoring in ecology and conservation. However, I've shown a recent interest in marine studies and I'm hoping to pursue that further into the future. In completing my community internship, I worked with the Morton Bay Foundation which for those who don't know, is a relatively new non-for-profit organisation and is researching and advocating for the Moreton Bay region's current and future health, and also protecting its biodiversity and current cultural heritage sites. Their, more, their four sorry, core values are evidence-based decision-making, integrity, independence and collaboration, and are focusing currently on areas of concern such as sedimentation, habitat restoration, protection of cultural heritage sites, and sustainable use. My role within TMBF initially was a researcher slash detective. So for a majority of the internship, I was conducting research on grey literature, which is, for those who don't know, um, reports or articles that aren't easily as easily accessible as what you may find on Google Scholar or the Griffith Library website, for instance. But I was also completing research on environmental offsets, um, social media sites such as LinkedIn and Facebook. I was trying to identify groups, pages, for instance, that had any sort of relevance to the Morton Bay Foundation. My final task with TMBF was to get in contact with Southeast Queensland libraries in particular, however also university libraries as well as nationwide and statewide libraries to see if they're interested in purchasing the Morton Bay Foundation's recently published book on coral dredging in the Morton Bay, Foundation, Morton Bay region. Sorry. Earlier in the trimester, we did a self-assessment of ourselves to discover what our personal values are, or at least our top four or five are. My, the four that I had discovered were very beneficial to the Morton Bay Foundation and in completing my role with them. The first two being my ethics and passion. So I was able to advocate for issues that I am passionate about, as well as those that align with the Morton Bay Foundation. For instance, climate action, cultural heritage, protection, sustainability, to name a few. And then the other two were my competence and commitment, which meant that I was able to complete the tasks that were set for me of a high standard um, on time and efficiently. The personal goals that I had set for myself when completing my internship were First of all, to understand the importance of marine conservation a bit further, not just in North, uh, North Queensland, but its importance and how crucial it is in South East Queensland. The other goal that I had set for myself personally was to understand what area I wanted to pursue beyond graduation. I was uncertain up until completing my internship, but I know that I want to pursue marine conservation and delve into that area a bit more. As far as professional goals, um, I was able to improve on research skills, as you'd expect, the technical analytical side of researching, as well as networking, being able to liaise with staff members other than my supervisor, but also keeping in contact with my supervisor. Um, finally, I was able to improve on interpersonal skills. So my communication skills via the phone, for instance, or via email, text message, Teams meetings, etc. I was able to improve on those skills, which also helped in obtaining Griffith graduate attribute number two, which is being an effective communicator and collaborator. So I'm able to now transfer those skills into my professional career. Working with the Morton Bay Foundation was very beneficial to me as well as to them and I will hope to be working further with them.